Chao Shang Sturian Farm is at the top of a hill overlooking the ocean. Mornings are quiet. This is the standard villa where we typically stay. It's small and pretty basic, just mats on the floor, a mosquito net, and a fan to keep us cool. I like to start my morning with yoga. Mr. Chang's son practices the piano at the same time. It's the best yoga soundtrack ever. The main durian hall comes in around 11, so that's when we eat breakfast. Red prawn is particularly difficult durian to open but one of the best, like coffee meets pancakes with whipped cream. The afternoons can get a little crowded. People come from all over the world to eat durian here. From Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, China, even Australia and Estonia. When we're finished eating, I wash the seeds to send to friends and other tropical nations. It's too crowded, we retreat to the room to do some online work. This is when I answer most of your emails. Sometimes, even with our fan, it's too hot. So then we walk to the nearby waterfall to cool down and make our brains work again. Later, as it begins to cool down for the evening, we go for a jog. We'll need to earn all that durian somehow. The area is hilly, but beautiful. For dinner, I like to mix vegetables with the durian. In particular, we like cucumber noodles and lettuce, which mashed with red prawn or green skin makes the best pseudo ranch alfredo ever. seeds. I also tend to do more computer work until I go to sleep. Meanwhile, Rocky, Fei Fei, and the gang are having an all-night durian bash with the leftovers. We find them crashed out the next morning, and the durian days start again. Thanks for watching this video about a typical day at Baosheng's durian farm.